So I'm sure you guys already noticed, but apparently, yes, Susan Diane Wojcicki has died at the age of 56. It's true. She was diagnosed with cancer. No surprise. Seriously, cancer really, really, really is a really bites in, in, in the behind, doesn't it? Now, what I do know is that after, 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 after looking at um, D'Angelo, aka do not, do not, don't, don't not 1999's video about former. YouTube CEO Susan Wojcicki passing away at the age of fifty six. Um, he has some actual facts on what um, on why she stripped she um she took the she took the dislike button away like that. Yeah, you know the dislike count out or something. But anyway, let's more on that in a moment. Now, um, now um, what I do know is that some people were really are really heartless about why Susan had to die like that and everybody's like making fun of her death and and she and she was pro and she's the reason why YouTube has been going down in a rabbit hole as of late because she was trying to turn YouTube into a family friendly focused platform and I understand that but 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 personally we already have YouTube kids it's so what's the so what's the point of having of having YouTube kids if you're not going to you know you know do something about it anyway? We may never know. We also need to talk about another thing about we also need to talk about one thing that that was really making the blood of many people boil. Removing the dislike count. So y'all remember. Y'all remember the dislike button count no longer being used, right? The dislike count is no longer is no longer seen on videos. Well, well, in in very revelation in retrospect, everything finally made sense. Actually, according to Do Not nineteen ninety nine, um, the platform the platform and and Susan Wojcicki has has stated that that the dislike button has been used. Inaccurately. And what do I mean by inaccurately? Well, the reason why YouTube got rid of the dislike button is because, because the button feature was very inaccurate. Way was a very inaccurate to gauge quality because people dislike videos for many reasons. Company exclusive also also said that the dislike button is being weaponized. Based. Yeah, I understand. It's being weaponized because of the dislike bombing. It it happened to me once. A few times. Yes, it happens to me. It it was it was a fucking nightmare. You kidding? It was a fucking nightmare. I repeat that. Fucking nightmare. It started it all started back in twenty nineteen or twenty eighteen with a with with a with a video known as the Rabbit Mall sixty one at night video and and it received freaking goddamn twelve 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 to soon to be seventeen dislikes. Some people said I need to handle my own hate, but nobody doesn't seem to get the point because apparently um to be because apparently it it happens to be someone else's account goes by the name of. Who? Angel Animates, also known as Gaming Animations 2019. He used multiple accounts to 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 dislike bomb on my my new video and completely and complete and completely got and completely goddamn rigged me like that. So honestly, he took advantage of me just because I I added I added someone in in a video oh and, or and not add him in it. Probably, and another and another thing and another thing is that there are other reasons I personally do not want to talk about. Anyway, I don't like I don't like I don't like the dislike I don't like the dislike button being weaponized, and I'm pretty sure everyone feels the same. But removing the dislike button it was understandable, but 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 for but for a reason why it's being weaponized, yeah. Um, 
without that dislike count not being shown on videos, nobody won't know if, if a video of a tutorial video is a scam or not. I feel, and I feel, and I feel that. I feel everyone. I feel y'all. It's not, it's, it's, it's just very, very, very un unprofessional to remove the dislike count like that. At. I understand. I understand the idea here was to do that because, because of, because the dislike button is being weaponized. Sometimes, sometimes it can cause video, sometimes this is caught, this causes small creators like myself to go on lockdown. Oh, you see, you see, you see, I, I, I remember, I, I used to not handle dislikes back then, um, but once I found out that they're, that they're made for saying opinions, this clear, I had to, un I understand why. Some people even tell me to stop deleting videos with dislikes on them, but the problem is, is that I can't, no matter how much, no matter how much anyone dislikes my new videos, I, I, I might be hated on. But this is not really the case at all because turns out the one of my only haters happens to be a, one of my only former friends who tried to who targeted me for for no freaking reason. Seriously, it was already bad enough that that it's bad enough that I had to go through my my original channel termination. Do I really need to? Do I really need to be hearing the one last bad thing I I hear about anyway? Seriously. Oh my fucking god, I freaking swear. Why does this always have to happen? But that's not the only big problem with the... It's not just the dislike button that, that it's now being marked as being weaponized. It's not... An, it's also another reasonable logic in this case on, on, on what's also going on on YouTube lately. Um, Susan Wojcicki was also the main reason why the policy, why why YouTube's policy has been updated. Yeah, I understand because she wants to make YouTube into a family friendly focused platform. Seriously, that's that's platform drifting. That's de that's platform decaying. Also known as platform drifting. It's it's where it's where it's where um it's where something shifts away from its original niche to be to become something else. Remember what happened with Boomerang? In remember what happened with Cartoon Network? Nickelodeon? Nicktoons? MTV? Toon Disney? Yeah. Yeah, it happened to you yeah, this happened to YouTube as well. I'm not surprised. Who who does who what kind of CEO does this? Also also YouTube faces criticism that the company applies enforcement policies inconsistently with larger content creators treated more favorably. Oh, so that's why none of the small creators aren't getting a fair slice. So, so, so I believe I understand what's going on here and why my videos literally did not, didn't go well. It's viewer, it's, it's, it, it's, it's YouTube doing favoritism. Yes, you can, yeah, you can imagine why the algorithm doesn't see underrated creators. Even small creators, that's why. Because, because according to do not, to do not nineteen ninety nine that that YouTube is treating larger content creators more favorably instead of instead of favoring all all creators big and small. No wonder my no, no wonder some of my videos got screwed over. Oh my goodness, that's why my new gaming videos got screwed over. That's the reason why my new my new Hemsen videos got screwed over. Why did they have why are they pulling this kind of act? Well I understand why well but what's all but what's not in but it what's not un, but what's unacceptable is that that's not also the big reasonable problem in this case. Um the YouTube began to began to began to give us an AVC an AVC one codec, um, where it cuts down our quality, meaning the video will be worse, the video will become worse and a little fuzzy, and so that means you won't get a VP09 codec, unless unless if you unless if you're unless if you're making the same type of videos like what else. 
um, the same type of videos that are favorable. Like, you, like, go animate content, go animate content, children's content, music video content, hell, even, hell, even trans, hell, even transit content that everybody loves, unless if they got good percentage of good quality. Um, this is the reason why I've been making new videos. This is the reason why I've been making new videos in 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 2K because because of because of certain issues going on. Why? Now do you guys under, now do you guys get my point now? Now do you guys now can you guys understand why I'm going through this type of crisis right now? Seriously, is YouTube going on a codec midlife crisis now? Did they seriously have to go? Do they seriously have to give the give us small creators, or the ABC one while much famous content creators like Mr. Beast gets gets VP09 or something, or something like that? If so, this is ridiculous. This is completely ridiculous. Who does this? Who the F does this? Pretty straight fucked up, YouTube. Oop, um, after Susan Wojcicki left, YouTube probably turned for the better or worse. Well, after Susan's passing, it's, it became, it became worse. There's actually. So, for, so, for two solid decades at this point, YouTube has been uh, has been a platform where you can post your post your your comedy stuff, your transit stuff, even skits and such all over the internet. Where where you're gonna be, you'll be like people will be saying like you're a celebrity, you're a celebrity or something, or or something else like that. But but nowadays, but nowadays YouTube is now a competitive space where 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 you where you're trying where you're trying to be the best and. And YouTube really and YouTube is trying hard to prevent this from happening. Yeah, yeah, cut yeah, this yeah, this kinda traces back yeah, this kinda traces back to the Nickelodeon Cartoon Network com competition, I I believe. And now and now where and now where on earth did it all go wrong? Everything completely all went wrong. Where where is Where's the where's what's next? This is what's next. This is this is the wor this is the worst thing ain't this is the worst thing Susan Wojcicki had to do, actually. And I feel bad for the small creators who are going through some bad bad um bad performance and poor treatment on their videos. Which I'm which I'm starting to go through um, an always packed treatment actually, burning off my videos at three thirty a.m. since my, since I'm writing off some of my content, which I'm easily which I'm easily acting like what how Nick Jr. and Nick Tunes had did with with some of their shows like Ryan's Mystery Playdate and Always Pack on their on their channels, which I'm easily copying in what what an associated channel would do. If you guys do not want me to do that, then. Then, then I don't know what to tell you. If I ever, if I ever, either I, either YouTube stops and favorites all creators, big and small, or, or, or it's this, or it's this. I'm sorry. It's I'm sorry, but, but I'm sorry. Blame, blame, blame the platform. Don't, don't blame me. Blame the platform. Or, seriously, it's. It's just as simple as that. And also, I duly apologize that if my if my content has been, you know, slitting with the train simulator content, is that I'm trying to I'm trying to get I'm trying to get variety on my on my on my channel. But the problem is, is that you two don't want don't want any variety. They want to see something that's story driven, something more outrageous something more unreal and such but don't everyone realize that we can't just rely on just the same old content we need we need something else what about what about what about original content but the problem is as well the original content is never the answer 
seriously, original content is the answer. Original content is the main answer. However, as a curiosity, some people really made videos about how bad videos may, may grow to a success on YouTube. I don't know if it's just true or not, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if this is a if it's I don't know if it's if it's a case. And also, dear viewer, believe me, if you think if you think it, nobody won't get bad treatment, well, well, think again because because if we upload something that's outside of our niche, the video will flop and will not do well. Even when you're making genuine masterpieces of of great content, even professional content. It, it won't it won't they won't they won't make a serious dent out of your videos and might get killed afterwards. YouTube feels like a very competitive space, so YouTube is now scarcely now being used to is now is now scarcely now becoming a content farms tube where where YouTube where YouTube content are now being used used to make to make new videos and such. And I and I do believe this is a and I do believe this 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 is not where it's supposed to be. Uh, you want to know what you want to know where you want to know what what's going on with my with my other associated channels? Maybe either they are failing or getting shot getting shadow banned altogether. I'm trying to keep them up so that way so that way we do not want any more. Uh, Burn offs, but they're probably going to be burn offs if it uh, if it uh, if 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 the if if YouTube content doesn't stop getting mistreated, it doesn't stop mistreating them poorly. Viewer, believe me. Be viewer, believe me. Okay, I'm just gonna have to start my my kick the bucket list. So yeah. And anyway, in conclusion, um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about. I'm. I'm. I feel very sorry for Susan Wojcicki passing away like that. As much as the next person, however, however, she is still the worst CEO of YouTube, and I understand that. And I don't think it was smart for YouTube for 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 Susan Wojcicki to strip what YouTube was. Yeah, I don't think it was smart for for YouTube to get stripped by by her. Seriously, um, she stripped what she stripped, very things of what made YouTube great. Having YouTube messages, having what YouTube used to have, and also she she was also the main reason why ads are everywhere, and you can't skip them. I even heard that they're gonna have three or four more ads, ads per video. Okay, okay, this is completely hopeless. This is completely pointless. Also, also, I wish YouTube would stop showing scam ads and such because they are not helpful. I repeat, they are freaking not helpful. Do you know what's going to happen next? Yeah, yeah, someone might get scammed. I said this to Do Not 1999 and commented on this video a day ago and said that Susan has been infamous, has been famous for stripping YouTube down. I mean, she doesn't deserve all this harshness. True, she stripped YouTube of what it once was, but she shouldn't have removed oofed, any of the stuff that YouTube had or tightened the YouTube policy. Now, if she hadn't done that, then YouTube would still be like would still be like what it was back in the twenty tens, and or something, right? Well, well, uh, sorta. It definitely it definitely took hints that they're trying to become a family focused platform. Unfortunately, this family-focused platform concept is not really going to be a good idea at this point. You won't be able to. You won't be able to have a freedom of speech anymore on YouTube. And dear God, why do these copyright bots have to copyright every single video for because of copyright music? Well, it's not really. It's not really challenging actually. These copyright music's actually maintain and gets view and gets view and gets views for a video if it gets copyrighted each time. But but the sheer volume but the sheer volume of the algorithm literally needs to stop favoring bigger creators because it ruin because it ruins what 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 YouTube is and what the and what the YouTube channels are supposed to have. They're supposed to have a good purpose. 
but they won't have that good purpose if they don't stop this. And Jesus Christ, why, why does, why, why doesn't, why won't you two just, just fairly treat big and small creators fairly? I mean, it's not an actual problem these days. Some people would have hashtags or actual tags to mark their videos and use extensions like vidIQ or TubeBuddy. I would not recommend those because they act as a scam. They won't really help you. Ooh. To be fair, neither will TubeBuddy. I'll just be around this bush. Um, um, vidIQ, they won't help you. To be fair, neither will... To be fair, neither will... No, neither will TubeBuddy will help you. Um, you have to make up your own luck. And you have to make up your own way to get more views properly. If you want, if you want, if you want to keep up with the rest of the pack, or, or if you just be on on YouTube to, you know, just be for, just make videos for fun, then, then it's understandable. But I'm just gonna have to tell you, I'm just gonna have to tell, gonna have to tell you real, real, real quick that, that, that I would, that I wouldn't recommend make, I would, I wouldn't recommend some extensions like, like you know, um, TubeBuddy or VidIQ. Sure, they might help you. But they, but they might, but will they really help you? Mm, well, uh, sort of. I remember using vidIQ ones and on a GoAnimate video, and guess what? It blew up. It blew up, just like that. Honestly, on honestly, 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 um, honestly, um, and I, I, I do want to make more GoAnimate videos. But I'm sorry to say that. But I'm sorry to say that these that that go animate isn't what it used to be. Not without its stinky community. So will I ever come back to go animate? Still, well, yeah. But by only go, by use go animate properly if I'm doing doing TV show clips of a fictional TV show from my for my mate for my from my from my creative fanmate network. Tajman Network or or my associate other fanmate sister channel networks like Random RS or hell even the Mouse One Sixty One. I also use GoAnimate for screenshotting because because hey I need to use I need to use GoAnimate for some reason. So ha, what do you think? Do I use GoAnimate? You think you really think you asked me a dumb question like that? Yeah. You really think you ask me a dumb question that I use GoAnimate? Of course I do, but only for but only for you know Photoshop work and such. I use it, I use it wisely and fairly. I also use GoAnimate for TV clips of a of a of a fanmade TV show I use. What what do you what do y'all we all suppose what do you what do you think I do I use GoAnimate for grounded videos only? No. Speaking of grounded videos, um, the grounded videos, it's still going, right? Ron, they're getting cut in half. Ari gets grounded, is get, is end, is ends production. Yeah, it ended on a high note after Ari, Edwin gets Ari unsuspended. Yeah, there, yeah, there's a lot of things you need to know about, 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 um, I'm not always gonna be making Go Animate content, you know. I have a, I have a life outside of outside of Go Animate too, and YouTube as well. Can't expect me to make more videos one by one, and also, and also over on Flash Themes, I'm I'm considering making making TV making making video TV clips about the Go about 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 Go Animate House the Next Generation and other sorts. If you're asking me if I want, if you're if you're asking me, it can can, will you guys get a show from me? Well, 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 I'm not sure if I want to, because after after what after what a certain user did to me, like striking me down, not happening, unless if unless if I trust you guys, unless if I'm trust, unless if I trust y'all. Then I might be able to fit you guys in with a new, with your own shows. I mean, Michael B has his own show, 
even Substar slash Kenny Bella 2003. Hell, to be, hell, to be fair, hell, to be fair, even some people are asking their own shows, actually, from me, from me. E. I am, I'm not sure. With everybody dissing us because of, dissing me because of life, I completely understand that. So, anyway, I really, I really surely hope that, um, that YouTube doesn't, you know, completely, um, ruin their platform even more. Thank you guys all for watching. And you know what's, what will come up next? Well, we're not sure of what will come up next. Now, just remember, have a good, have a good August. And, and make sure to remember that, that y'all school, that y'all school, that y'all, that school will be coming back up. So, so I suggest you guys, um, better get ready for, because, because once you get back to school, you'll be inactive on YouTube. Remain, remain alert and have a safe day.